All right, so she's not the prettiest girl on the block, but this is our messed up Matrix video. This is the 2006 Toyota Matrix. You probably can't tell what it is because it's so stripped out. My buddy gave it to me. <clears throat> it was in a pretty severe front end crash where it hit a truck and I'm assuming the truck's bumper, the whole car went underneath it and it smashed everything in this direction. No airbags were damaged, uh, but the wiring was cut. The engine is pushed back in its cradle. I had to go through and manually figure out which wires did what. Uh, and it was a bit difficult because it's got electronic throttle. Uh, and even though I got it running, I couldn't get it to take any throttle because I didn't know there's multiple white wires and multiple green wires without tracers on them. And I had to guess uh, without a schematic, just kind of doing it off the top of my head. Anyhow, I succeeded. On the ones that I had to guess on, I just switched them back and forth, hoping it would blow the computer, and voila, I got it. Uh, but the last nail was one of these wires was broken in the harness, which went to the number uh, four coil. And it was running all right, but it was running on three cylinders. So I rewired the alternator because that was all smashed. Had to put in a new VTEC sensor or a VVTI sensor, uh, see if it's worthwhile. Bypass the radiator, bypass the uh, transmission, and uh, let's see. I don't know if you can see that or not. I got all the codes cleared, so the check engine light should be off. It's on. Let's turn the fan off. I had the fan on to keep the uh, engine cool. Let's see here. I think she's gonna run. Still got no codes. That's awesome. I got every other light flashing. <laughs> the tire pressure indicator, ABS, brake, airbag, seat belt, of course. So that is our messed up matrix. We're gonna body swap it, I believe. I haven't figured out which car, but I'm probably gonna cut her down and maybe put that green Honda right there by the scrap pile. Possibly the Goliath back there on this chassis. That'd be really cool. We'll see how that works out. All right, thanks for watching. Thanks for staying tuned.